Welcome back to my online video series. At the end of this video, you should be able to 1. Distinguish between internal and external arcs 2. Find the center of an arc or circle that blends with two circles 3. Apply the principles of blending of arcs or circles for internal and external arcs for internal arc, big R plus small r. For external arcs, big R subtract small r. You should also appreciate the importance of two arcs when blending circle to two points or circles. Instruments needed for this class are one, set square, compass, pencil, eraser, T optional T square and a positive mindset. This diagram shows two circles, circle A and circle B, being blended by two arcs an external arc and an internal arc. For an internal arc, it is important to know this rule. Internal arc states that we always subtract the larger radius which we refer to as big R from the smaller radius. For internal arcs we always add the big radius plus the small radius. This is a graphic representation of an external circle being blended by two circles. We have a circle A and a circle B being blended by a circle C. Our objective is to find the center for our larger external circle. To do this we add the radius of B to radius of C. Using A center we square an arc from this point. In like manner we go across to the other circle we add a radius A plus radius C. But what measurement we get, we use here a center, we scribe an arc. At a point where both arcs meet is the center for circle C. The next step is to readjust your compass to that radius and draw an arc. This figure show a drawing it has two circles, circle A and circle B, being blended by an external arc of radius 100 millimeters and an internal arc of radius 30 millimeters. We will be drawing this step by step. Please take note of the, of the dimensions. Give me a moment to write those measurements down. So the first step to draw this figure is to draw a horizontal line of approximately 100 millimeters. The next step is to identify your starting point. A. Here is my point A. Starting point A. From point A, mark point B, which is 60 millimeters to the right of point A. So point B, 60 millimeters from A. You may want to use your set square to measure your distance. That's point B. The next step is to draw a circle of radius 30 millimeters using A as center. A as center. Draw a circle.
with B as center, draw on the second circle, 15 millimeters. So with B as center, radius 15 millimeters, draw second circle. Next step is to determine which arc we wish to draw first. I will be drawing the internal arc first. And the rule states big R plus small r. In this case, 30 plus, starting here, 30 gives me 60 with A as center, in like manner, same rule applies, big R plus R, 30 plus 15 equals 45, with B as center. So the first arc here is radius 60, Open your compass of 60 millimeters with B as center. Scribe an arc below. Next step is to readjust your compass to 45 millimeters. Forty-five millimeters with B as center. Scribe an arc to cut the first arc. At the point where both arcs meet, center for our radius 30 millimeters. Next step is to readjust your compass to 30 millimeters. And uh, using OS center, before you start in a drawing, it's important that you, you test to see if the arcs blend in smoothly before you start drawing. Always test first. In some cases, you might need to readjust your center or the radius. That's the first arc. Now, to move on to our second arc. The rule for the second arc is different. The rule states that for external arc, big R, minus small r. In this case, big R here is 100, 100, subtract, first center, A center, 30, this gives us 70 millimeters, so A equals 70 millimeters. Same rule applies for the other side, 100, same 100 radius blends here. 100 subtract 15 equals 85. So B, center B is 85. Next step is open our compass to 70 millimeters. A as center, scribe an arc. B as center, readjust your compass to 85. And uh, my center falls a little bit off board. Next step is to readjust your compass to 100 millimeters. And 
there we go that's the figure it's always good to dimension a figure it's always good practice to dimension a figure it's always good to dimension a figure to state where the radius or the center for the circle is one is here like center is here radius here is 30 r That's pretty much it. From the center to center is 30 millimeters. I will not do that this time. Thanks for watching.